Tsutsuki clan. Theory of Hagoromo's brother. What is their history? What lead to all the problems between them? What will happen next it? We all know Hamura and Hagoromo fought their mother, the Jabi, who wanted to regain her Shikura lost to her when the two were born. Now, unfortunately, that's all we get on Hamura. He simply seems to disappear after Kishimoto reveals these little details about him. I believe that Hamura is not talked about because he, in some shape or form, was absorbed by the Chibiko Tensei that Hagoromo created to withhold the Jibi. Now, the question is, why was Hamura absorbed as well? I believe it's because of the astounding power of the Jutsu, that it was so strong, it either had to suck up Hagoromo or Hamura, and Hamura chose himself to be the one that was sacrificed. Remember, it became the moon, which is much bigger than pains, while inside of the moon, Hamura was stuck in there with the Jibi. He ultimately learned that it was his mother Kaguya that merely wanted her Shikura back. Confused, Hamura asked her why she was so hell-bent on getting her energy back. She revealed to him that she needed it in order to combat a threat that wiped out her world. This place that Naruto and company are at now, I believe that this is her home world and that castle in the background is vitally important to the theory later on so just hold on. Now, Zetsu was created before the Jibi was sealed away. It carried his mother's will, which when combined with the Jibi's malicious Shikra, turned him black. I mean, why else would white Zetsu, who was created from Hashirama, a pure human being, be the neutral color he is? back to Hamura. He became sentimental during his mother's wish of not seeing this planet destroyed like her other one, so he agreed to help her. Somehow, she used her Byakugan powers to project his Shikra into the Black Zetsu onto Earth, thus merging Hamura and Black Zetsu. This is another reason why Black Zetsu refers to himself as Kaguya's child and this translation say, she gave birth to him. From there, he carried out Kaguya's dirty work, turning Ashura and Indra against each other and tampering with the stone tablet left behind to try and spur about the Rinnegan so Kaguya could be reborn again. But, we have to rewind. Back to before Hamura and Hagoromo fought the Jibi. I believe Hamura had a wife and children that Hagoromo did not know about. Also, I believe it was forbidden for Hamura to have kids because he might have been the leader of their country or whatever. This furthermore points to why nothing is mentioned about Hamura, because his brother thought he was sealed and had no lineage. As for Hamura's kids, I think that he had two, both boys. They eventually lead to the Yuzumaki and Hyuga clan. This is why the Hyuga clan is referred to as ancestors to the Uchiha and likewise, Yuzumaki, and Sunju. This becomes essential because Black Zetsu sent Sajuke away in the last chapter. Now, Kishimoto also did this because, if Black Zetsu really is Hamura, then Naruto would be a descendant from him, thus breaking the cycle of hatred and ending Naruto and Sajuke's fight. So only Naruto would need to have this knowledge which comes into play later. This will also come in handy because the two of them will manage to further weaken Kaguya by pulling Madara out like they did the Biju. Then it would be Madara, Naruto, Obito, and ultimately Sajuki when they get him back against Kaguya. They will manage to seal her and defeat Black Zetsu. Madara will become good. They will all return to the real world where they will face the alien threat along with the cages and revived Shinobi Alliance. This will probably be another arc as well. That is all for this video be sure to rate, comment and subscribe don't forget to leave video suggestions. This video was made by Dvtruck101.